think of the sun as a relative. You know, we have the sun, which we call Ampetuwi, which means, you know, our, uh, the, the sun, the father. It's our father because of the energy that, that helps to create our soul and our spirit and helps us to warm and to create life on er or just everything on Mother Earth. And the sun is our, our greatest uh, messenger. And we, we work with the sun through ceremony because the sun gives us what, whatever is necessary through messaging. Now the messaging system works through your eyes. And the, and the sun talks through your eyes. So you got to learn to listen with your eyes. Because the, the sun, the, at this moment, the sun it gives this message and it goes through right into your hypothalamus glands, which in turn go directly to your pituitary and your pineal, and they realign everything so that all, all those uh, gifts of, of clear audience and clairvoyance are activated. So that's what's necessary for people to... to uh, to create good messages and being very clear about what comes from the sun. The sun, the sun in my is so very important because the sun, we say, every morning we say, Father, Son, and we pray to the sun, and we need to mention the name of the sun because any way the vibration of this language can activate the good energy of the sun. Like the name of the sun is in my eyes, king, king, king. And we need to mention many times because in that way, the communication with vibration go in the good way. And Father Son can understand this because that's the language they use with my ancestors for communication. And ask every time to the Son can make us, can make us more strong can give us intelligence, can, can take our, about, about us, about the community. Many good things we need to ask to the sun. In that way, we can be very happy. In that way, we can do rituals, make happen everything. We need to pray to the Mother Earth. We need to pray to the sky. We need to ask the rain come, because all the trees need to rain. And we, have, we need to have good water to drink, make us healthy. In all the places, in all the world, when the Mayas we pray, we pray to the Mother Earth, because it's only one big mother we have in every place in this beautiful dimension. So some people ask me if you're gazing, sun gazing through your window, will that affect? any health benefits and uh, I think it's okay because uh, as long as your window is clean you're still getting the full effect of the Sun uh, through your eyes I mean if you place objects in the house around the house in direct sunlight eventually they will f fade in time so the Sun does uh, enter through the window passes through the window and you do get the benefits of the rays. So I don't believe it's a problem. Yes, uh, I'm doing it in the middle of winter. I'm not grounding, but I'm still noticing benefits from sun gazing. As soon as I start sun gazing, I feel more relaxed and calm. That's the first benefit. And uh, I remember when I was younger, I used to work construction and I used to be outdoors all the time. And uh, I was in the sun all the time, and I noticed very supernatural things occurring. Um, like one day, I, when I was in my 20s, I was working in the sun a lot. And uh, every morning when I would uh, clean up and take a shower and look in the mirror and all that stuff, I would, one day I was glued to the mirror of looking at myself and I saw myself age and uh, so I saw my future 
so some benefits are you can see the future and uh, when I saw myself age I saw myself getting older and then I saw myself reversing I think to me this means that we will get to the fountain of youth we will drink from the living waters we will get to the touchstone which is the center of the flat earth Mount Maru where when you touch the mountain you become perfect so I think this will happen so I had this job where I was in the sun a lot and I wasn't even sun gazing I was just working but you know I was out in the sun and I was looking at the clouds a lot I guess and I was uh, not even concentrating on sun gazing but I think this was the effect that gave me some supernatural abilities just being out in the sun I think even looking at the clouds when it's really bright bright sunlight you know that even helps because like I said I had some supernatural abilities about uh, seeing myself uh, seeing my future seeing my face change and um, I think this is attributed to the Sun now looking back because I didn't really do anything different than I I've, than I've ever done just that I was out in the Sun more often that time at that time of uh, my life so I think the Sun gazing is a big help and does give you extra synthesis like they like I've mentioned in my other videos and I would go as far as to say that the sunlight gives you natural radiation you know how they give you radiation if you have cancer well sunlight I would go as far as to say sunlight through the eyes at sundown is similar to getting radiation it's a natural radiation and it's going to stimulate your brain to be healthy and it's going to give you all the healthy vitamins and healthy radiation that we need so I was go I would go as far to say that uh, the sunlight is the best medicate is the best medicine it's the best medication so the sun gazing will heal your body make sure if it's too bright not to look directly at the Sun you know look above it or below it and uh, but mainly do it at sundown for 30 to 40 minutes and guys like David Icke and Alex Jones well they're royalty Alex Jones is the Prince of Denmark and I'm sure David Icke is a royal family member as well and they never talk about flat earth because they don't want you to find out about the exit hole and uh, your Bible all you people preaching the Bible when has that ever brought heaven on earth now a lot of people have asked me if you can do sun gazing through a window and uh, yes you can because as long as it's not tinted it's not a tinted window and uh, you know there's no blinds or something you know blocking it somehow I mean and it's relatively clean yes you can get benefits from sun gazing through a window you know it's the middle of winter here uh, no one's gonna go outside and do that it's uh, like minus seven right now uh, with the wind it's colder than that and uh, but another thing you can do is at high noon or on a cloudy day if you don't get a lot of Sun in your area you can make shapes in the clouds and you can like gaze at the clouds and the reflected light off the clouds will, all, will also give you the benefits of the Sun um, and it won't hurt your eyes um, so that's another thought I'm very convinced that Sun gazing works off clouds so you can also cloud gaze you know make shapes of faces uh, in the clouds they make a shape and uh, the reflected light will give you many benefits and even when the uh, clouds have gone and it's a uh, very bright sun out you can even gaze at the dome at the clear blue sky and uh, the reflected light will also give you some advantages so these are some extra tips you can try if you get a lot of clouds in your area 
sun gazing at sundown or sun, sunset is probably the best. Um, but these all are, are also beneficial. So, you know, I suggest you write on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and spill your blood on it, put a few drops of your blood and uh, upload it to YouTube, entitle it Blood Over Intent and search those videos blood over intent and and see how it's done and uh, we need to get a mass awakening happening so we can get to the center of the flat earth plane and get to the holy grail and get to our real bodies because right now we're asleep in a full wet suit with a helmet on and we're something like that and our real bodies are asleep and we're laying down in a chair or a pod and this reality is just a dream so right now you're dreaming and uh, we can't seem to wake up the only way to wake up is to get to the center of the flat earth plane so search blood over intent and watch those videos and make your own blood over intent and upload it to YouTube I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all selflessly for the benefit everyone the benefit of everyone amen Jesus is the Son I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all I intend to release all from bondages time and money safe passage into the Garden of Eden and forgiveness for our filthy souls you see that? Like right there. It's a black hole, son. If you look at it long enough, you'll see it. Go and stand outside barefoot and just let the Earth's energy move through you and it helps rejuvenate you and recharge you. You know, like batteries. I don't know. It does something. It's very special. See? And all of this is, and it could be, and it probably was at one time, but you know how it is. Somebody always has to go and start something. You know, I, I'm telling you, all, all of these guys, they, everybody just needs to ignore them, really. We need to ignore the bullies. And you know what? Start pulling together. Yeah, get your families together and your uh, friends together. And you know, be close with one another and talk. And sit out in the sun. Enjoy the sun. I send my son to all my brothers and sisters where it's cold. Sorry. It's warming up here really nice. So, from me to you. This is this the sound of my word. Jesus, this is the sound of my word. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and free all souls from bondage. That beautiful flat plane. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and free all souls from bondage.